Welcome to the tutorial for the second mission, Running Man, one of the most preferred ones in the speedrun. Here, first go into manual gearbox, reverse gear, and as soon as he starts talking, just reverse into the next car. And why to do so? Because it then bypass the animation of him getting into the car and later getting out of the car, saving 4 seconds for each passenger. You also want to utilize the reverse camera strap as much as possible. By default, it's comma and dot, full stop. But you want to keep an eye on this bridge, you don't want to override and then just slam into the next wall in the next house. If this bridge is raised, unfortunately is a reset. Here just go with the manual gearbox, 3rd gear, 4th gear. Now try to make this turn with roughly 40 miles per hour, which is the sweet spot, but stay in 2nd gear because you go uphill, otherwise this car will struggle. And if you go downhill, you can just go into the next gear. You can also short here over the sidewalk, but I wouldn't recommend it too much because there might be pedestrians you can't see right away and then you run them over and the mission's failed. So here we have the second passenger and you already know the drill. Go into manual gearbox, reverse, and as soon as he starts talking, reverse a little bit. And go to automatic to just not need to upshift to the first gear, and then you can later go to manual gearbox again. Here we're gonna take the next left, you can also shorten over the sidewalk, might be an issue with pedestrians or even flipping or spinning the car around. So here just go as fast as possible, cut a little bit over the sidewalk on the right, and here you wanna stay in reverse camera mode, don't switch around like multiple times because you then spawn cars ahead of you. Try to be calm and collected if you know the route, otherwise you have to glance, I did as well. And try to have max speed basically. If they start complaining, do not exceed 80 miles an hour, but that shouldn't be happening here at all. Here, slow down a little, <laughs> then go to the third gear and cut over the grass to basically then climb this hill up there, go into the second gear and you're pretty much at the hospital. And here, drift before, or brake, do not drive on the staircase, because otherwise your car will jiggle around and the game won't recognize it as a full stop. Here you know the drill, manual gearbox, reverse, as soon as she starts talking, reverse a little bit. And go into automatic, or upshift twice, and you're done. This is the last passenger we cannot take with us, the other ones are mandatory. But still 12 seconds saved. So yeah, we take this right. You can also go pretty much the mirrored route we did to the hospital, but then you have to squeeze near the Giuliano Bridge and you're gonna run over a lot of pedestrians most of the time, so I don't recommend the strat. It was used in 2014, so a long time ago. Yeah, here paying attention to pedestrians obviously. Don't cut too many corners, especially at a high risk. And here, near the Giuliano Bridge, stay in second gear, because you wanna go uphill and it's gonna struggle in the third gear. And reverse camera, it's really mandatory. Reverse camera on the entire Giuliano Bridge. As soon as you reach the climax of this hill, just go into automatic or shift upwards to the third gear, fourth gear, and let the weight do its thing. If they start complaining, if she starts complaining, do not exceed 80 miles an hour. That's really a thing. Try to stay below 80 miles an hour. And here we are at the passenger I was talking about. So here, do not reverse. Do not reverse. You will cause a soft block. Brilliant. He got into the cab. Sometimes there's a cop car standing at this crossing, but then you can pretty much short over the sidewalk. They won't spot you that you're running a red light, so everything's gonna be fine. So, we're gonna uphill the Giuliano Bridge again. So stay in second gear and reverse camera. As you can see, it's still not revving to the max. 
So it has to work, the engine. And now you're at the climax of the hill and going downhill is easy. If you look up ahead, you can spawn cars, especially when you're switching at often. Or also pedestrians, so have an eye on them as well. If you just keep the reverse camera engaged, you won't spawn any of them. So if you pretty much perfect this route, you can do it up to the end. But you will YOLO this part, and I would recommend to slow down to around 40 miles an hour. <laughs> Otherwise you might spin around or even flip. And if you already wasted more than 5 minutes in Running Man, you shouldn't do it too often. And we're getting close to the Pompeii bar. Here you can try to drift into the left hand street. And then just stop. And there's this forced dialogue with our passenger and the guy up front. Which is why he's mandatory. Now we're gonna take the last guy with us, who's gonna be right behind us, and he sometimes gets stuck by NPCs, which is always a blessing, and then he has to turn around. If you see him bl getting blocked by like two NPCs, reload the save game, because otherwise it will take so much time. Here stay in second gear manual to go up this hill and shorten it a little bit. And here you have to pay attention to those two trains you can see up ahead. Because there are pedestrians on the street, you might just run over. And therefore, you should keep that in mind. There we have a cop car, so I had to brake. You don't really want to get into any chase with the cops here. Because paying the fine is fine. But then getting the handcuffs will fail the mission. So here it's the same like we got just got in here. Have the reverse camera engaged and try to drive till the Giuliano Bridge. And he's complaining so don't exceed 80 miles an hour. And he's very likely to complain. Ralentissez un peu. Slow down a little. So you see I try to stay below 80 miles an hour, that's the bad spot. If you exceed that he's just gonna say stop, I'm not going with you anywhere and the mission's failed. Here I'm just gonna go this way and not through the route you saw on the first mission, because sometimes there are cops and it breaks you down, unless you might exceed those 80 miles an hour just by accident. So here in the tunnel also pay attention to cops, they are often in here. Um, yeah, they are very often in here. And you won't be able to outrun them to the save game, because that's another option. If you have cops near a save game, or near another segment to be more precise, then you can reload the next segment and the cops are gone. But first of all you have to get there. If you don't get there and reload the save game you don't have, then... Well, <laughs> your run is rigged. And he's complaining again. But luckily, we're getting close to the parking lot in Little Italy and then this is finally done. Don't worry, in a couple of attempts you're gonna hate this mission. Here just smack into the lamppost, at least that's what I would like to do. And we're getting into the actual running part. So now we're going to utilize Pudinga's weaponless clip, which basically is a war clip that doesn't need a weapon or any other item. In combination with the clip setup found out by WRP Beta in order to save 4 seconds at this mission. And I was one of those guys who said, well, those 4 seconds aren't worth it, because the clip actually looks to be very risky. But if you consider it, and practice it, and try it more and more, you will see that it's pretty consistent. In my opinion it works every single time, but it's a matter of practice. You have to practice it. So yeah, be aware of any cars here in this crossing. And then of this car that is coming from the right anyway, we have to turn into. 
then jump up the stairs and do not turn right here, just follow straight on. I'm going to charge a punch, but you can use a normal punch later. What you want to do is actually get to this corner, then face to the staircase, like you can see in the stopped frame. Then just punch or let go of the charge punch, do a side roll with right and space, and you clipped. If you get shot, it's even faster. So now we'll align with this floating bit that you can see in the upper arrow, and then the lower arrow is our position for the clip. Again, charge a punch for example. Look into the corner here, just like in the frame. Do a punch and the side roll. So either do a regular punch or release the charge punch, obviously. And you're pretty much done. Those gangsters won't catch you because they have to go around and you successfully completed the mission. One thing I have to add though is that your game has to be running on about 62 to 63 FPS, so pretty much uncapped. You have to have VSync disabled in the options, that means in the setup exe file in the Mafia directory, and in your graphics driver, otherwise this clip will always fail. If you try it with 60 FPS or lower, you won't be able to clip, it will always be stuck in the position. Of course there might be some minor tweaks needed, depending on your resolution or your aspect ratio, but in general it should be working just fine. Here I'm going to show you the old strats again that you already saw in my last tutorial, so they are pretty straightforward. In the previous playthrough of this segment, you saw me punch around. It doesn't affect the AI, so you won't get shot because you punch? No, that's wrong. You can do whatever you want, you can still be shot. It's pretty random. So sometimes you see a runner go through this mission with 100 HP, which is rare. And the other times they go through this mission with like 10 or even less than 10 HP. So something you have to keep an eye on. Looking on the ground or something else doesn't work in this game. You can do whatever you want and you will still get damaged. So I jumped the stairs and now we're turning right, we're not going straight on. So if the clip isn't working for you for some reason, then you should be going this route. So yeah, go down the stairs, go left. Try to actually hide behind those two guys, because you never know, maybe they shoot them in the meantime. The red bold ace for good luck. You don't get this kind of RNG manipulation with the clip, just think about it. And now we're at Salieri's bar. So you see the time save isn't that huge. And there we go, running man done a second time. So that's it for this mission, it pretty much consists of this clip, especially as a new strat, the rest is standard and was done in the old tutorial as well. So yeah, we'll see each other in the next tutorial.